Okay, today I want to go over a little experiment I've been doing. I'm uh, making some spindles, some rope twist spindles here, and I'm making them out of treated lumber. Well, treated lumber, as you know, is real wet, and you can't hardly cut that wet lumber. So I have to find a way of drying this out. So what I've done, set that over here, is I took this old cabinet and I uh, put, insulated a little bit with some of that felt, uh, like you put on a house if you're putting up brick. Just kind of a, give me an idea if it would work. And then I put a latch in there to hold it up. Now, on the inside, I got a little thermometer in it. And right now it's 102. I don't know if you can see that in there very well. Actually, it's starting to drop now that I got it open. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And what I did is I put a little box fan inside to help circulate the air. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And on this side, I got a little heater right here, just to add a little heat. I don't want a lot of heat. Then the main component is this little dehumidifier. Now, with it being sealed, kind of kind of insulated, and you can see right here the water level is about right there. Now that's how much water this has pulled out in the last uh, five days. This has been in here five days. Now. And you can see they're fairly dry when I put them in here the moisture content on it was 20 to 30 percent I mean you know how treated it is it gets real wet so let's just see what this is now okay that's a 11 percent which now it's getting to the point of uh, being able to cut See that's seven, six, five, and eleven on that one, ten, and six. So right now it's ready to uh, start cutting. And the biggest thing I had here is I used that heater just to bring up the temperature. Uh, maybe up to 90 or maybe 100 degrees and then I'd shut it off and that's you just do that once a day and I didn't want to create a lot of stress because as you cut this treated lumber is bad to warp and my goal was is to help uh, reduce that hopefully reduce that and so far this is pretty straight so I'm gonna go ahead and unload this I've got uh, 40 of these uh, blanks in there now that's fixing to cut into spindles and the last load I did, it uh, I probably had out of 40 I put in, or 50 I actually I put in, I had 10 of them actually come bad. Okay, and that's it would crack, uh, they would warp. Uh, but all all together to go from 20 to 30 down to five to seven is pretty good. Now I can feel this. This feels dry versus when I put it in you can actually rub your hand across it and you got moisture on your hand because the, it was so wet uh, and you know, that's how treated lumber is but anyway that's uh that's what I've done here I'm gonna put a little page on the website on uh, my testing I did uh, how long it takes but this is what I've got so far and all of them are fairly dry so they're ready to cut but if you look in here, I got them stacked and ricked. I got little spacers in between each. Uh, but the dehumidifier, uh, it worked, works great. It's a little bitty thing, don't cost but maybe 15, 20 bucks. <coughs> I'll post that on the website also where to get it. Uh, the rest of it is, is the circulation of the fan. Now this is December. Uh, humidity up around here in Kentucky is pretty high at this point. 
So, but I had, that's why I add a little bit of heat. But for the most part, when I even I don't have heat, the temperature in here is around 15 degrees higher than the outside air temperature. So, you know, it's been 40s around here, 30s right now, and it's still staying pretty warm. And then, like I said, once a day, I go and put a little heat. That extra heat starts warming this up and causes it to evaporate quicker out of the wood into the air, and then the dehumidifier takes it out. Nothing fancy, nothing great. Uh, I could have probably pulled these out a couple days ago, uh, but I needed this for when I'm making table legs, uh, cutting these spindles, because when you're making table legs uh, and gluing up, it's got to be dry, you know, real dry. You can't take 12% humidity or moisture in it uh, from your air and glue up two pieces of board and expect it not to separate sooner or later. You're going to have a few of them separate. So with this right here, I, before I glue them up, I can put my blanks in here, get them good and dry, and then glue them together. Same way with cutting boards. Have you ever took a cutting board or made a cutting board out in the shed? If you're not got controlled heat and air, <clears throat> and then get it all finished when you take it inside it's now after a week or so being inside it's now uneven again you can start feeling little ridges in it and that's just because it wasn't completely dry to begin with uh, you need it down to make projects to gluing up or cutting boards anywhere from six to eight percent moisture uh, if you leave it outside in this area uh, of course now state by state it's going to be different but in the, it's this area of Kentucky right now, you're probably just wood sitting out. It's going to be 12% or higher, uh, and that's probably a little. That's okay to build stuff for the outside, but if you're wanting to build something for the inside, it just ain't going to work. So this here didn't take nothing to do. Now I would suggest putting different liner in here. Probably I didn't even insulate the doors. And this is an old junk cabinet, just a kitchen cabinet. It's uh, 40 inches wide by or long by 24 inches deep, and uh, it works great. It really does. So, it lets me know how well this works. So, when I get time and get caught up cutting these spindles, uh, I've got 100 more to cut. Then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a an actual good one. But I think what I'm gonna do is use different insulation. So, just stay tuned and you know check back with us and see what we come up with. But I really think you're going to like this little setup. Uh, I said go to our website, Allen's Woodworking, and I'll put a page on here giving the specifics and how things worked out through some of the trials and what, what didn't work out. And uh, leave us a message and tell us what you think. Thank you.